topic and what isn't. Today he is going to share some of the tricks he has picked up over the four years as a Toastmaster. Please help me welcome our second educational speaker today, Jason Selzer, with his speech, Selecting a Topic. Fellow Toastmasters, I'm going to start today with a confession. I've done some things in my past as a Toastmaster that I'm not proud of. I put my name down on the new agenda weeks ahead of time for a speech. And then when the week arrives, I look at the agenda and I think, ooh, I have nothing to talk about. I take my name off. Now, if you're like me, and I suspect some of you are, one of the hardest parts of writing a speech is just finding a topic, figuring out what to talk about. Fortunately, I've picked up a few tricks over the last few years from some of my fellow Toastmasters, and I'm going to share with you today what I've learned to find a topic and make it the best topic for the speech you're trying to give. Speech topics are everywhere. You just have to keep your eyes open. There's two main sources I'm going to discuss. One is your personal experience, and the other is reference materials. Let's start with personal experience. The easiest place to find inspiration for speeches is your own experience. It's much easier to write a speech if you go with what you know. If you're already enthusiastic about something, that'll come across to your audience. You can talk about your hobbies, stories and lessons from your career, your family life, your education, We've had speeches on anecdotes from vacations, uh, religion, family traditions and customs. There's always something unique about you, and you especially, that other people can learn from. Sometimes you have a good story or you want to share your enthusiasm about something. If you're enthusiastic about what you're talking about, even the smallest details can make a good speech. Uh, a few weeks ago, Stacy gave a speech about his uh, bedtime routine that he uses to say goodnight to his grandson. Now this is like a 30 second moment in time, and Stacy was able to expand it to a five minute speech with themes that resonated with all of us, and it was really effective, it was really great. So don't think that there's certain facets of your life that are too small to be of interest to your Toastmasters Club. The other place to find speech topics is in reference material. Now when I say reference material, I mean the kind of media we consume every day. Websites, newspapers, magazines, TV shows. You can always learn something interesting if you keep your eyes open, and if something really gets you excited, that's a great thing that you can take and fold into a speech topic. Uh, a few years ago, I read a book by Michael Pollan. I don't know if you know about this guy. He writes about food a lot. I read a book about fruits and vegetables. And when I got to the chapter about apples, it just blew my mind, to be honest. I got really, like, stupidly excited about apples. <laughs> uh, my coworkers, my friends would get annoyed with me because I just sit there regaling them with apple facts all day. <laughs> uh, I'll spare you, but if I was in Toastmasters at that time, that would have been a perfect way to, to kind of take all this apple obsession I had and get it out there and, and make a great speech out of it. So when you're reading magazines, when you're looking at newspapers and books, keep that in mind. If something really grabs you, then remember it and consider making a speech about it in the future. There really is a wealth of topics out there. But sometimes, like me, you're in a situation where you have to give a speech next week and you have no ideas. Now, instead of frantically searching for a topic at the last minute, I picked up some tricks uh, from, I think Bev is one person that does this. My advice to you is to keep a list of speech topics ready at all times, and then when you go to make a speech, just go over the list that you've been keeping and pick a topic that makes sense. To do this, you have to be a little proactive. You need to carry a notepad or your phone with you. And when inspiration strikes, you never know when it's gonna happen, but when it does, make a note. This is a great speech topic. Let's talk about uh, the way people annoy me in traffic, or my thoughts on the stadium issue, or some other civic issue. Just, it could be anything. Uh, when one idea like that kind of pops in my head, I record it on my laptop. And then weeks later when I have to give a speech, I just look at my list and I pick whatever I think fits. Finally, I want to talk about refining your speech topic to make a better speech. Uh, 
often you'll have a general topic, but when you only have five minutes, you want to make that very specific to have the most impact you can. One topic I've always wanted to make a speech about is artificial intelligence. When I was a computer science student in university, I took a lot of classes in this, I did a lot of projects, it was a lot of fun. And if you ask me, I can talk a year off about it. So last year, it finally came time to make a speech about artificial intelligence, and I was so excited. I sat down and I, I wrote something, and I found I was having a lot of trouble writing it. And I took a step back, and I realized I'm having trouble writing this because it's too general. I don't really have a, an effective point that I'm making with the speech. I'm just talking about stuff I know. <laughs> so I narrowed it down. I, I picked a subtopic from that large space. And the subtopic I chose was, what's it like to have a conversation with a computer? Now, everyone knows how ridiculous and frustrating it can be to pull up Siri on your iPhone. Siri's a terrible conversationalist. Why is that? By focusing my speech on that very particular question, I was able to have a speech that was something I could get across in five minutes. It was something that my audience understood and could sympathize with. And it was a much more effective speech than it would have otherwise been. So when you're picking a topic, try to narrow in on something very specific. And remember to consider your audience. What will they care about? What are they familiar with already? What do you have to explain to them? What will capture their attention? And of course, what can you stand up and talk about with enthusiasm and authority? For a lot of us, finding a speech topic is one of the hardest things about writing a speech. But remember, speech topics are everywhere. Your personal life, the media you consume throughout the day, are a gold mine of effective things to talk about. If you keep an open mind and write things down, you will make effective speeches. And when the time comes, make sure to tailor your topic to yourself and to your audience. Select a good topic, and you'll find that capturing your audience with a well-crafted well speech will be that much easier. Thank you.